Okay. Well, another fun filled day of welding and excitement. I have to say, don't have a whole lot left over here to get done. Uh, thankfully, most of this is welded up at this point. Uh, let's check. Alright, so we've got a little bit of food. You know what? Let's go ahead and we'll do that. And we're going to grab a few of those. There we go. And why not? Let's grab a couple of those just to have them. That way we have a little bit of stuff to get us through everything. Alright. Uh, we'll close that one just in case. That's because we've been a little paranoid lately. Let's keep some of this stuff closed up. Uh, there, just because. All right, so on the lights. Nice of a nice of a dread to put in the security area for us. All right, and heading down. So I'm thinking what we're gonna need is I probably should have brought some aluminum plates with me. Actually, you know what? We're here. Let's go ahead and do this all in one shot, just so we have it all sorted out. Um, what I'm thinking is, is that we will actually run a line of um, conveyor blocks. Uh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Got turned around. All right, so I'm thinking we'll run a blind of conveyor blocks basically behind this layer. Anyway, let's head down here. Um, because we're going to need them running down here so that we can tie them into the ow, into the lower grid. There we go. Also, it gives me a reason to come down here and start cleaning up some of the lines in here because. Uh, I think. That's going to come down here and run this way. And then down here. I mean, I may even just go ahead and pipe all this stuff together. Um, and then run it either straight up. Yeah, probably just run it straight up and see how that ties into the uh, the whole thing. Uh, all right. So first things first. Let's plan this whole thing. Alright, so if we go here, all 
Alright, so if we do that, I think I can get this out of here. Uh, what connector? So we'll have a connector there. We'll have a conveyor here. And then, I don't know if we're going to do one or two pistons. If we do two pistons, that allows us to go further in between each connection. Which I'm actually fine with. Then we're going to have to scrape most of this out of here anyway. So if we have that, so yeah, let's do two pistons. Um, I need to take quite a bit of this stuff out. So uh, drills, right? Cuts twice as much as a standard drill, huh? Alright, so let's see what you look like. Oh hello. I'm guessing this. Alright, let's try that. Alright, so that's the amount of space that we're going to need down the entire line. Okay, so this is going to be 2,000 steel plates. Uh, effectively 2100 steel plates. I think we might be able to get away with the titanium plates that we have because we've got a couple. And yeah, we got seven. So I'm going to have to go get some titanium, which I think we found. Um, definitely going to need plates though, and we're going to need ceramic, so we need, what, every two of those is 100, so we're going to need about a thousand ceramic. And 2,000 plates. All right. 
we want production. Ceramics, what do you need? You need silicon and carbon. So if I want a thousand of those, we need 5,000 carbon and 5k silicon. Not nearly enough carbon. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to get more of that. And plenty of silicon, so the carbon is what we're gonna need. Okay, so each one of those is five carbon. Yep, okay. So we're definitely going to need to get more carbon, which I think we might be able to find on the planet. Um, we'll have to figure out what to do about that, because I know we can get it if we go mine out a bunch of um, ah, the tar, basically. Oil sand, I think is what they're calling it. All right. So we'll do what we can do with what we've got and what we'll probably end up having to do is do like half the line and then we'll grind it down, redo the other half of the line, rinse and repeat until we can get enough carbon together. Oh, okay, so this is going to be just getting most of this set up. Yeah, it's not that difficult, it's just time consuming. done. Right. See, once you get the system down, it's pretty easy. It really is just that time consumption. more of this out of here. I want to do to the, the, which where is it at? Front line, okay. Um, well, yeah, one of the things I want to do is start working on. The uh, test bay, so we can check and see what exactly is going on with the engines. Because, like I said, I think I think some of the nanobots on the planet are just going a little crazy. But hopefully, we'll be able to uh, 
unlock the uh, atmospheric thrusters at least. Yeah. For no other reason than to be able to actually be somewhat productive around this place. out of here. That's no, it does need one more. Of course, I don't know how big these the radius on these are, so I'm thinking we got. Do I have anything in my build planner? No, okay. So if we queue up that. Up that. Actually, I want two of those. Two pistons. In there. Alright. Okay, so if we get all of that loaded up, I mean, technically, it should run through there to there to there to there. In theory, find out. All right, let's go grab these parts. Ow. Go get ourselves healed up, <laughs> charged up, and uh, we'll grab those parts. All right. So I should now have everything to finish up. <sighs> Took off the extra so that we basically can see what this thing is going to look like when it's done. I should have brought, uh, should have brought this stuff for a seat. I have it on the bar. Right. So all right. So you are locked in. In theory. Should be able to take that off before we change anything on here. We're gonna have to put a battery on here, too. I don't have anything super duper powerful, it's basically just something to keep this charged up so that in the case that uh, it falls over we'll be able to uh, put things back on it so 
you're using construction components, you're using aluminum plates, and I have a neither down here. Did I leave anything? No, of course not. Because leaving parts down here would have been entirely too simple. Uh, what are you using? You're using steel plates. Crud. How about rails? You're using construction component. You guys use steel plates. Hmm. Uh, you use steel plates. Yeah. So if we do that, need an aluminum plate for that. Are you kidding me? Uh, you are not that expensive. Flight seat or control station. Flight seat is much cheaper. Okay. So we're going to add one of those. See, I'm kind of curious. If we go in here. What's your extraction rate look like? Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Looks like it's pretty just right here. Doesn't look like you get a whole lot of get some of the over here. Um doesn't look like you get a whole lot of spread on it. It's fairly focused, which should be okay. So that pulled 90k out, like just right there. That's a lot of stone. Okay, so if that's 90k. Means we're going to be pulling a million units of stone for each forward motion. Right. <sighs> so we're going to fill these two up within minutes. Because that means we're going to have, because um, it was basically, it's close to a third. So at four million, it means we're going to be, we're going to have almost 12 million stone in here really, really quickly. Okay. That's going to be crazy. So, yeah, we definitely need to get this all piped into the system upstairs as fast as possible. Okay, I think that'll be my, my next focus. Well, you know what? Let's... Turn you on. There two. And minor piston zero one. Save that as a group. And we want. So if we do. 
point one two five. And I think that will get it where we want it to go. We're doing for Because this will give me an idea of basically how much space this thing is going to be able to clear out. And what I really need to do is to put a seat on here. Um, so that I can choose on whether or not I want to mine or excavate. And if I choose to excavate, I want to know how big of a position that's going to have. I mean, look at that, we're already... Is that everything? Right, let's turn you off. That's a pretty good clip. So now if we go straight down, so from here, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. All right, so that excavates out seventeen at a time, which means we're basically going to need ten or so. All right. Um, don't care, don't care. Actually, you guys delete, delete, and delete. We're going to do new from current position. Minor start. Let's just clear out some of this as we go, all right? So figure we'll head down here, get an actual count of exactly how much space, or how, what the distance is, rather, to here. So, just shy of seven, six, uh, seven, er, 660 meters. Huh? So each one of these is about five. Uh, each one of this is three meters, which I don't think is right, but it's about 200 blocks. Uh, interesting. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be a bunch of distance. Okay. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 
Right, so that's there. Just do some. I guess that's some just quick napkin math here. That says 40 meters. 10, so 15. So about 15 stops. So yeah, I was, I was right. About 15, somewhere between 12 and 15 stops. If we use it excavation mode. I have to put some lights on this thing too. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll put a light on the on the base section of each piston. Oh, on this piston rather. And then uh, one on the top of the drill. Because of the way these are mounted. I mean, technically, yeah, it looks like it is doing a 3x3 three three grid. So, I mean, if we want it to be technical, all right, first off, minor pistons reverse. Uh, I don't want to see this here, and I do not want to see them there. Right. So if I want to be really technical about it, what I should be doing is having every other uh, block, so we'd have directly connected to it, we'd have one drill f up, one drill forward, one drill up, one drill forward, all the way down the block here. And that would, in theory, give me the, cl the clearance I need to get at least the base stuff in. I mean, I really should just go ahead and put this up on a piston, on like two or three pistons, to get the full height. Because two pistons gives us 15, which is basically what we need. So we would just need to build it onto two pistons, on two vertical pistons. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll still need the connector there. But I'm thinking maybe take this apart. No, no, because if I do that, let's get the, let's get, let's do it in layers. So we'll get all of this built across. Let it take out all of it. Um, and basically have it do its inchworm or whatever it was it was called. Somebody was... Somebody mentioned that all a long time ago in engineering school. But um, we'll have it do that so that it's leapfrog connecting. And then, um, yeah, once that's done, we'll have it come back. We'll take off all of the drills on this side, replace them on the other side, have it do the go forward again, bring it back, and then when it comes back, we'll hook it up to a piston system to have it raise up. That might, that might work. All right, so that means I have a crap ton of stuff to get done in the near future. I mean, there's definitely easier ways of doing this. I'm still... I'm still contemplating breaking this whole thing down. Put it on two vertical pistons. With a connector at the end of the piston. Which could be interesting. Like if we took this whole thing apart. Put 
piston, uh, put two pistons on it. Basically, just take this stuff out. No, because then I would end up having to dig out a giant trench down below for it. Yeah, this works. So we'll have it go all the way forward, come back, swap the drills, have it go forward, come back. And then I'll probably just use uh, warheads for the rest of it because we're going to end up with so much stone. I don't want to have to process all this stuff. All right. <sighs> yeah, that's going to gonna get us there. I mean, how much stone do we have? So half a million units, almost 0.6 million stone. 215k of storage. So you figure roughly 10 times this, so 5.8 million per container. So 6.6 .6 million stone when we're done. And that's just, I have a feeling that's going to be basically all of the stone just from this one side. That's not even going to be the other side getting from here out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go get charged up. Get a good night of sleep. And we will come back, tackle this thing in the morning, get the... Rest of the drills built. I'm wondering if I actually, if I run the stone up, I'm wondering if we'll have all the parts we need just off of the stone that we've mined. Just processing that. Cause I'm betting between that and the, the iron that I've already mined out, I'm betting that'll be enough material for us to, uh, get the rest of those drills built, but it just means schlepping that stone up here. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do the... How close are we? Uh... I mean, obviously it was over there, but... I'm wondering if that's close enough for us to mine straight down to it and have it come up the back end here. Because if I can have that mat meet up with this, that would be perfect. Yeah, maybe I'll do some exploratory mining and see if we can... Do some exploratory mining from here and see if we can get close to that. Because if we can get close to it, oh, that'll be that will be nice if we can get if we can get anywhere close to that. Just have that line run straight up and in. Oh, that'd be so good. All right. I think that's enough of our shenanigans for one day. And we can finally turn that off. And while we have all of that stuff, once that's done, we'll be able to uh, just let the stone process for a couple of days. And We'll have a lot of stuff good to go. <sighs> Alright. I think that's about it.